let me tell you a bit about why would you do the microdosing. Talking about healing depression with microdosing, this is something I learned in the jungle from Brazil. There I learned that when there were people in the jungle or in Brazil and they had a huge depression, they said we give one teaspoon of ayahuasca every day. And then there's also a group who wants to have more focus, concentration, uh, creativity is that I want to go out of their head, being more into their hearts. One of the main physical reasons why people do this, and that's especially for women, is if they are in the menopause. There I learned when you take the plant medicine in a small doses over a period of time, you have a gradual healing. And step by step, you will get insights, you open the portal to your heart more, you go out of your head and you become more of who you are. Microdosing is something to experience for yourself. Welcome to the House of Oneness podcast, where we dig deep into the world of plant medicine to help you in your spiritual and personal growth. Our host of this podcast has traveled the world to learn from different shamans, maestros, and other spiritual leaders. She has many years of experience with plant medicine ceremonies. Here is your host, Maria Joanna. I thought it was time to give more information about where I am now. So in my previous podcast, I've been sharing my life story, stories about my own experiences with plant medicine. Yeah, and there I also share, of course, a lot of um, yeah, educational information. But now I really want to focus in this podcast about uh, yeah, microdosing. There will be the focus in this podcast. And in my next podcast, I will talk about uh, Shoko Bliss. And that's where I am now on the different possibilities. And here I start with microdosing because if you're new to the world of plant medicine, microdosing is a great introduction for many people because yeah, uh, many people are a little bit afraid of losing control during a plant medicine ceremony. And with microdosing, it's a different story. It's a gentle way of using plant medicine, of connecting more with your heart because mainly this is what we wanna, we wanna experience like out of our heads into our hearts not thinking so much because in the thinking there's the stress in the thinking there's the hesitation and our nature is actually living from the heart being excitement having chains having variety in our lives uh, yeah and maybe for some people more than others but i would say when you live your soul path your authentic life of course there are challenges and it's also a lot about letting go and letting go yes that's uh, hard for people and also losing control but with a microdosing where I'm gonna talk about it's different so what is microdosing microdosing means that you use a plant medicine uh, it can be also Shoko Bliss it can be San Pedro it can be ayahuasca it can be um, the truffles and that's where my main focus is at the moment. But maybe when you're listening to this podcast, uh, I already launched the San Pedro, the uh, Shoko Bliss microdosing. I'm not sure, but at the moment, it's mainly focused on truffles. And yeah, microdosing, it's said, yeah, the word is saying it already. You take a micro, a micro, a small doses of a plant medicine, and you do this over a period of time. And in this time, you build a rhythm on how you take this microdose. And there's not a, that there is like a rule, it's not a right or wrong. It's more about having a rhythm than what rhythm you choose. And there are different possibilities. The most practical way is you take the microdose one day, the next day you don't. You take it, the next day you don't. Most people choose the following rhythm and it is you take it for two days and you pause it for two days. And why would you do this? Because when you take it, it's in your system. If you take it another time, it's more in your system. Then when you stop, the first day that you stop, it's still in your system. And the second rest day, 
that you stop taking the microdose, it's out of your system. And in this case, um, you could practically go on for like a whole year. I'm not saying that people are doing this, but it could be the case. When is this the case? For example, if people have a depression and they don't want to use the pharmaceutical medications, they feel like I want to do it natural, then they choose to go on for a longer period of time with the microdosing truffles. Because yes, it can definitely help to, yeah, to heal depression, but it's a process. And that's with every healing, yeah, it's a process. It's not a one-time fix. Also not when you go on a high doses in a plant medicine ceremony. It's not a quick fix. Yes, it can go really quick. It can go more fast. You can get a lot of understanding. You can learn a lot in one go, but it always takes time to implement because we are here on earth. And talking about healing depression with microdosing, this is something I learned in the jungle from Brazil. I never heard of microdosing. This was, I don't know what year, let's say it was 2015, I guess. I'm not sure, it will be somewhere on my YouTube. And there I learned that when there were people in the jungle or in Brazil and they had a huge depression, they said, we give one teaspoon of ayahuasca every day or every other day. Like, oh, interesting. They said, yeah, because when you're in a very dark place in your life, not everyone dares to step into this ceremony because they are afraid that maybe it will be worse or they will face their fears. You know, it, it takes courage to go inside and especially when you're in this dark place. Um, not everyone dares. So there I learned when you take the plant medicine in a small doses over a period of time, you have a gradual healing and step by step, you will get insights, you open the portal to your heart more, you go out of your head and you become more of who you are. And this is where it's all about, is becoming more of who you are. Because when you are born, from that moment on, you learn so much to adopt from your surroundings, from your family, from your parents. Um, a lot of parents uh, separate have a divorce and it always affects a child on how they view the world how they see themselves and yeah it's all our job to go back to who we truly are even while this programming is so strong and let me tell you a bit about why would you do the microdosing so i already covered the subject of having a depression but most people order microdosing and I asked this question like why would you start microdosing and the most uh, common answer is curiosity curiosity people are curious like oh let me try what the effect is on me and then there's also a group who wants to have more focus concentration uh, creativity um, yeah inspiration because it connects you with your spirit inspiration comes from your spirit and a lot of people what i spoke about earlier is that they want to go out of their head being more into their hearts because that is where the answers are i'm saying like when i observe my own journey First, it was more about mindset, what's in my mind and very rational, what are my strengths, what are my weaknesses. So I went from the mind then to the heart, the feeling. And then the heart was the portal to the soul. And when you take the support of the plant medicine, I would say it helps to go out of your mind into your heart and it opens the portal to your soul. So you have all the three qualities, body, mind and soul. Yeah, body too. Too. Yeah, I'm not talking about that, but it can also be um, physical reasons. And one of the main physical reasons why people do this, and that's especially for women, is if they are in the menopause. I'm too young myself to talk about this, so I cannot uh, share it from my own experience. But I have a lot of response on my email to yeah from women. They said, "Wow, this is fantastic!" Like uh, when you're in a menopause you have those feelings 
like emotions are shifting so it's more stable in your emotions you don't have these triggers so much and that you you don't have these things that you get so hot and warm i don't know how you would pronounce this in english but i know it's a great help for women who are in the menopause uh, so if you know someone if you're listening and you have this try it at least try it and yes i said most people start microdosing because they are curious but they can also have a goal and this is something i like to to share before you start okay you like to get started with microdosing and you say yeah i want more focus and concentration i want creativity because i'm working on a project or i'm a starting entrepreneur i want to go into the next level with my uh, company whatever so you want creativity inspiration focus concentration it doesn't mean that you will also receive this it's the same with other plant medicine ceremonies it has a spirit that is very wise um, just realize that those plants, they are on earth for so long, they are connected with mother earth. And we as human beings, we have a very wise soul, but yeah, we are fools huh? when we come to earth, we forget who we are, we forget what life is about, we forgot our path. And we all have to search for the answers and we all look outside until we remember, oh, wait a minute, it's all inside. And the plant medicine, they open this portal like, oh, let's open this portal to our inner world. Let's connect with a greater potential of us. The plants help us with us and they also help us with their wisdom, with their vision. So they carry so much wisdom and talking about um, the um, truffles or other mushrooms. Yeah, they are so powerful because when there's construction, like destruction of the earth and there's um, fungi do you call it like this then it, it it just grows everywhere it grows everywhere you have this uh, documentary fantastic fungi I recommend you to watch this documentary you will learn more about uh, yeah about the family of the mushrooms and the truffles and you see the power of them and some mushrooms are there just for concentration, some are psychedelics. I really love psychedelics. And if you start microdosing other mushrooms who are not having this psychoactive um, yeah, function, have more patience when you do the microdosing because it really takes time. And I want to say this for all the microdosing uh, plants, it takes time. Don't make a judgment in the first week. Take at least one month before you make a judgment. And I understand it's easy after a few times taking the microdosing. Oh, no, I don't like it. Or you make a conclusion, it's this or it's that. To me, the plant medicine they give you, no, it's not only to me. The plant medicine they give you what you need, not always what you want. And this is what I was talking about. So if you start microdosing because you want to have the inspiration, it's definitely possible that what you get is different. Because we have seen so many people, they start microdosing, and what happens? Instead of having this focus, concentration, inspiration, new ideas, first what happens is that they get very tired. Tired, and they need to take a rest. And they said, I don't have time for a rest. They said, Maria, um, yeah, I took this microdose, but um, I only want to sleep or yeah, I took a shower for one hour, but you know, I don't have time for this. I stopped this. I'm like, yes, because microdosing is a lot about balance. And you think maybe in your head that you're in balance, but your body carries so much wisdom and the plants too. So in your body, maybe your mind says one path, like focus, concentration inspiration let's do things but when you're taking the microdosing you first have a period of resting your body because maybe you have been too active and it's all about surrendering also in the microdosing process so listen to that get in touch with your body get in touch with your soul and that's why it's also a great tool to prevent yourself of a burnout 
you know, and we learn that we have to do and create and being active. But there's a time for everything. There's like in nature, there are seasons. Those things you will learn in plant medicine ceremonies or with microdosing, there are seasons. There's also a day and a night. And when it's daytime, you have light. You get the energy from the sun, from the elements of nature to, to be active. But in the evening, it's time to rest. Maybe light up candles and yeah, other things. And some people turn this around. They work at night. They don't sleep in a normal rhythm. But just observe nature and the truffles and other plant medicines, they will yeah, let you be more in touch with nature. And then I also like to talk a bit about the quality. The quality, I mean the qualities and the characteristics of the truffles. Because the truffles, they have a masculine spirit. And this masculine spirit is practical, it's down to earth. To me it's like, okay, uh, you can, for example, also choose to microdose the Choco Bliss, and I would say this is more feminine. And I have a lot of feminine energy from myself. I live from that place. So if I do microdosing, I choose the truffles. Why? Because I can use qualities as structure, concentration, uh, focus and also a voice because it will activate your inner voice or the inner voice of the plant to give certain guidance so for me the truffle is more about that when you say like I want to dance more I want to be uh, yeah more in my feminine energy um, be more soft for myself uh, more the celebration side of life. Um, I would say do the mic do microdose the Choco Bliss, but it's it's a similar experience. Only the truffles are more practical because they are sealed in exactly the right amount. It's yeah, it's also more practical way of using them. But maybe if you listen to this later on, maybe I already developed another type of chocolates to do microdosing with that. So if you're gonna do the, the microdosing, just remember that it will give you what you need and that it takes time. It takes time, it's a process. And the reason why you would do this is because you want to go through a transformation or you want to go to, yeah, through a um, process of or creation or healing. Yeah, what I said, transformation, connecting with nature more, connecting with your own nature, discovering, reflecting and yeah, we also developed a microdosing challenge where you get a structure, a program where you can reflect deeper. So you can have exercises on writing, meditation. Um, yeah, there's a guidance online on challenging yourself for one month to go through this process and it will give you structure. So if you're looking for structure and guidance, I would recommend you to do the microdosing travel challenge. Um, yeah, what more can I say? Um, fill in with what is calling you. And the microdosing can help also a lot in preparation for a deeper journey because it opens the portal already. You do the work already. So if you're afraid of going into your inner world of working with a plant medicine, it's a great tool to start microdosing in order to get the feeling to do a little bit of work already and then step into your, for example, Choco Bliss ceremony. And Choco Bliss contains also psilocybin the same as the truffles, so it doesn't have a contradiction. Um, some people ask me like, can I go on with microdosing while I plant the Choco Bliss ceremony? It is possible. Um, to me, I stop two days or three days in advance for my ceremony and also wait two or three days after my ceremony when I'm doing microdosing. But this is very personal. If you're like, oh no, I, I love this so much and I feel better, I'm more in touch with my heart, so I, it's easier for me to step into my ceremony, you're free to do that. To do that. It's not uh, damaging your system or anything, so you're, you're safe.
yeah what else can i share about the microdosing it's something microdosing is something to experience for yourself to not give up too soon to not make a conclusion too soon because if you have this first experience that you have to be in balance just go through it and uh even when you have to be in in your bed for the whole day surrender i'm not gonna say it's gonna happen huh? but plan your microdosing the first day that there is a possibility that you can only relax do this for example in the weekend or when you're not busy with your children or with your family or with the work-wise situation um, and start with a half doses start with the lower doses maybe you don't even feel any effect but just be careful because everyone reacts differently uh, but I also want to point out don't be afraid if you have this tripping feeling um, it's not a whole full trip it's just some, there for maybe one hour and then it's already gone or less and you can normally function you can drive a car you can be a mom a dad a co-worker you can yeah you can function function normally because this is the goal for microdosing you function normally in your daily life while you're having this plant support of being more in your heart less in your head and throughout this process you gradually go through a healing process please enjoy it when you start doing this and journal your process write things down or take the Mike Dose and Truffle Challenge and I'm sure you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna learn a lot and um, yeah, it will help you grow. So enjoy this and um, see you in my next video. And in that video, I'm gonna share more about Choco Bliss, how to go deeper inside your soul, how to travel, um, yeah, and what this can bring. So see you in my next podcast how to use it what is it exactly what benefits can it give to you it contains the spirit of mother ayahuasca and that's very special plant medicine comes on your path you never heard of it and then suddenly it pops up everywhere and why would you do a shoko bliss ceremony maybe you've heard that if the plants are calling you you better listen this is a saying that i always say like if the plant is calling you you better listen it changed me so much because it reconnected me with my inner voice. When is it from my ego? When is it from my heart? You have gentle journeys, you have intense journeys, you have hard journeys, you have heavenly journeys, and maybe even the hardest journeys you benefit most. Realize it will give you what you need. Choose the right setting. Choose the right people that you want to share this ceremony space with. Thanks for listening. Check out our website, houseofoneness.com, for more information about plant medicine, microdosing, and ceremonies. Or find Maria Joanna at Instagram. Check back weekly for new episodes. Until next time, keep following that inner voice.